This is a multimedia production. But you, his son, Belshazzar, 
have not humbled your heart, although you knew all this. That is the Indian version. In the old Indian version, said, Thou knowest all this. So I'm speaking on Thou knowest all this. Thou knowest all this. Life is said to be a teacher. It is also said that the experience is the best teacher. However, many people pass through all this without learning their lessons. If you go through the scriptures, like in Romans chapter 1, verse 28, he says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do things which are not uh, convenient or things that are not fitting. In other words, there are people that God, they have things to learn from, but they refuse to learn. They have seen the warning signals, but yes, they refuse to learn. And so God gave them to a reprobate mind, that is the Amicidian version, to do things which are not convenient, things that are not fitting. And you begin to ask and say, where is God? Why this man is doing this? Where is God? When this pastor is misbehaving? Where is God? When this person is doing things that is not expected to be done? Perhaps God has warned him severally. He knew all these things, but he has chosen the path to follow. And so, such people, God lead them or led them to reprobate mind. May that not be your story in the name of Jesus. The beauty of a Christian, of being a Christian, is that you have the Holy Spirit witnessing, speaking to you. There are times you want to do something that is wrong with the Holy Spirit, don't do it. Or you do something that is wrong with the Holy Spirit, they are to convict you of your sin. What you are doing is not right, and so that you can repent. But the Bible talks about people say, quench not the Spirit. Quench not the Spirit. That is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, I think verse 22 there. Quench not the spirit, that is, don't silence the spirit of God. When the Holy Spirit is silenced in the life of a man, he will continue to do wrong things and he feel comfortable about it. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears. They will eat off of themselves, teachers. And of course, this is the end time. The Bible said they will have eating ears and uh, they will not listen to instruction. But the time is come when they will not endure some doctrine. When they will not endure some doctrine, some teachings. Now, there are lots of, I mean, churches are increasing today, but the life of men are not improving. Am I right? People are not transformed. That's why you see churches spreading. And you see pastors, you know, with different titles. But you see, I tell you that it's not a matter of title. A lot of titles going on. In fact, just like the message of uh, the Yoruba church this morning, that at uh, times when you are in the midst, when Adam and he was put, I think I was hearing that from Mr. Menu, praise God, was put in the midst of the garden. You say at times you are at a point of um, where you don't know what to do, you are confused. You are the center. And of course, when you are the center, all oh, know oh, oh, what to say. Since you are confused, stay good with God. Many are times when you are not sure of what to do, don't do anything until you are sure. And you know whether it's this thing, you find out before you do it. Don't just say, well, I don't know, you must know. Ignorance is not an excuse before the law. That's what the lawyers will tell us, or the court of law will tell us. The father, I don't know, if my church did not tell me, it doesn't matter. I know today that many people have preachers, but they don't have pastors. It is something to have preachers. I watch so, so many things online, people with polished English, people that are good looking, and of course, even some people, they are more of a, a broadcaster than a preacher, anyway. The way they have to polish their English so that at least the kind of people that will be in the church and of course giving them applause because people come to such a church because they have fine grammar, fine outlook, their suits, 
smells nice. Hallelujah. And they are sure everything. You know, when you get to the ambience of the environment, so this is a good place to be. But let me tell you, it is not a sanctuary, it is a mortuary. Because the man who is a leader there himself is dead. Jesus Christ was talking to the church of Sardis in the book of Revelation chapter 3. He said, no, chapter 2, he said, church of Sardis, you are the name that you are like what you are dead. It is not the name you give to a church that matters. It is not the worship that matters. If the word of God is lost, if the truth is not preached, if the truth is not emphasized, if the will of God is not sound, loud, and clear, I want to tell you that place is not a sanctuary, it's a mortuary. God is not there. So you have the name that you are alive, that you are living, but you are dead. How can a church, that is a church, church of about 2,000 years ago that we are talking about now, that even 2,000 years ago, God knows those who are his. The very liberally I say unto you, he that had ears, let him hear what the Lord is saying to the church. He said it 2,000 years ago because human beings have not learned their lessons over the years. Human beings are still the same. It doesn't matter whether they are white or they are black. It doesn't matter whether whatever occasion or whatever, it doesn't matter who they are. It is the same blood that flows inside of us. And that's why when somebody is in America who is sick and they want to transfuse such a person, if it is a white man that donated that blood, will it not fit into the, the body of the black man? So, the blood has no differentiation. I, I get what I'm saying this morning. Yeah. Now, it is not a matter of color. It's not a matter of human being. The point is that men have refused to learn the lessons they need to learn over the years. So if you are in a such place where the word of God is not being preached, where the truth of the word of God is not emphasized, I tell you, people will feel comfortable, comfortable to commit sin, comfortable to commit iniquity, comfortable to do whatever they like. But let me tell you, God said your sin shall find you out. It's a matter of time. God will do wise. Amen. Amen. For the time will come. It has been so long time and it is true now more than ever. I tell you, people of God, when I see things in my age, in my days, I am afraid. Because when we reach some things, when we gave our life to Christ in the, I mean, 40 years, 41, 42 years ago, and then when I even sat back, I think, when I say even 42 years ago, I can even trace it to 44 years ago. Praise God. Because when I know that as young as I was, I have dedicated my life, I travel to my sister's place where I was, I will come back, or something did come drive me where I was. Amen. The knowledge of the truth. Praise God. Now, some things that we hear in those days about the end time, we never believe it will happen. Not that we don't believe, but we think it's not going to meet us in this world. Something that are happening today, we need to say that we are what is happening. With all the number of preachers, you expect things to get better. But like preachers, like followers, like listeners, people have been itching here. People don't want the truth. And so if you take, if you speak hard in the church, somebody will pass his school and that church is too hard. Because it is not blessed with gospel for their preaching. Hallelujah. We're in Baptist church, we preach full gospel here. For convention, we talk about the center, we know you have something. But you see, there is something that can expire the center in your hand, that is called sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, church. Amen. Now, you see, in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 1 to 7, he said, But know this that in the last days, perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud. Blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of player, rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, they have the form of God, they are not godly, they only have the form of godliness, but deny the power. And from such people 
turn away. For of this sort, this is very well. Are those who creep into the households and make captives of gullible women or silly women, loaded with sins, led away by various God, always learning and never to come to the knowledge of the truth. Let me stop here. Praise the Lord. Now, what I'm saying this is that when the Bible is supposed to be a mirror to us, true of us, if Bible says in the last day perilous time shall come, and now we now see that things that the Bible have said long time they are happening, it should make us to fear, to correct our ways, to be sure that whatever the Bible has mentioned, the last day the perilous time shall come, men shall be lovers of themselves. They will love themselves more than God or the will of God. Lovers of money. Lovers of money. Policy will soon start. Many pastors will collect money. Maybe we saw Pastor now began to pray for those who want to become presidents. Huh? Hallelujah. Pray. And so, whoever says Tinubu will not become president, they began to cast all the demons out of our lives as Nigerians. Why they are not using it? With the regalia and with suits. You think so little regalia people that are calling you. Even people that are having suits that wear suits like that. The footballers now came last week, I the ex. Uh, uh, all the pushers, all the Tariqo West. You know Tariqo West is a pastor now. So he came to unleash anointing. You know, he was praying serious prayer for the you know, Bringing the anointing from all the way from America to come and release. Last days. When we're supposed to be prophets to the politicians. We have become slaves to the politicians. You think they will come from different country and you pay their flight money by themselves. And it will not be from the body long. Don't mind me. I know I'm online. Praise God. From the body long street that uh, the money will come. You know, for them to come and invoke and enter. Maybe they will soon invite you also. Shout hallelujah. Team of medical doctors will come and release a man. Team of nurses. You need to do time. Team of ethnic surveyors and bandlers. Praise God. Really, people have said, because see, it's a strategy. We're beginning to capture all the group that make the nation. If they say yes to your dream, it's as soon as heaven has said yes. But don't worry. I'm not saying. All what I'm concerned is for the will of God to be done. Praise God. Amen. But what I'm saying is that what has happened to the church? Why do we, why do we find ourselves? Especially those that are supposed to show the way. Hallelujah. But it is a prophecy. Prophecy. He said that they are lovers of money, they are posters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, untamed, unholy. Unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of you. Now, these are things to check your life with from time to time. They are to serve as a mirror to check yourself. Am I guilty of this? Am I guilty of this? Because you are to know all these things. And the fruit of the matter, according to the title of this message, thou knowest this thing. And that was what uh, the first thing uh, Daniel told Bereshazzar. He narrated from the Bible reading today how your father learned in the hard way that your father Nebuchadnezzar has to be driven into the bush for seven years who was eating grasses like an animal until he knew that God reigns in the affairs of men. Until he sent his paper and he even he published it he published it that God of heaven is the only God. Say, thou knowest all this. People of God, are there things 
should know what you refuse to do. Are there truths you know that you refuse to stand by? Are there things you know you have been warned by God? Holy Spirit has corrected you and yet you have not changed your way. You know all this, not because you don't know. You don't need to play ignorance. You have the Bible. Some people in their age, they don't have the Bible. And yet, God destroys some of them and Even without the Bible. Why? Because the will of God, the fear of God is written in the conscience of every man. And so they were not. No wonder the Bible says, those that has no Bible, they will be judged without the Bible. Because those who are without the law will be judged without the law, and those that are with the law will judge without the law. He said, Because those who say that they are without the law, the law is written in their heart. Thou knowest these things. Thou knowest all this. Shout hallelujah. Many of us today have forgotten our humble beginning, family background, pedigree, past struggles before God brought us thus far. You know, human beings, we forget. Where God brought you out from? You forgot. How many of us here that our father, you know, rode on a car before our father died? You will feel. How many of us that our father lived in a fanciful house? You will feel. You are brought out from that black box. You are brought out from that unpopular background. God has made something out of your life. But are you not bragging against God with your riches, with your money, with your popularity? All that God has done for you, how much have you done for you? What have you done to show that God I am grateful? That's why the Bible says, unthankful, on whom? It is the one that you have not gotten. That's the prayer you keep on praying about. The one God has done, how many times have you given to God? What have you paid in return for the goodness that God has shown for you? You can see it. So, we have forgotten where we are from. Many of us have forsaken the good lessons of morality, righteousness, and good deeds that should have been emulated from our parents. There are some of us, our parents may not know much, but they will move people in the society. Some of us, our parents, they will take a train other people's children, two of us. Some of us, our parents, our house, our houses, I mean, that, that could be true. All those good mothers in those days, when they cook, they don't cook for their children, they don't. I mean, they will make sure that it's extra. They know that other children, your friends, the friends of their children, they will come to the house to serve them. Here now, today, do you feed other people's children? You know all these things, but do you do it? When you take care of your children, do you think of other children outside there that are languishing in poverty? What are you doing? You know all these things. You have good lessons to learn from them. We don't learn. We know. But just and new. No wonder God judged you with death. For many, many said you, you have been, you know, you have been said, many, many, you have been what? Away. Balance. I look at the many of many, many, I look at but is he talking about half shekel? Half weight. Many means half of a shekel. Perez, I mean, I guess, perez means half of a weight. Everything says that it is, I mean, you are already weighed. You, are, you don't measure up. You don't measure up. And the Bible says that's nice. He was killed because he said, Thou knowest all this. The basketball will be a new one. Tea, the new guy. What do you mean? Even what's the problem? The, 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 the proclamation of your father after he came from the room seven years to another God of a million. It is a worst thing for somebody to know. And behave as if he doesn't know. Or you do contrary to what you do. Some choose the wickedness and evil practices of their family by grants. When they were equally aware of what ended the life of so many people. And of course, we know how people in our generation ended. I mean, because of wickedness. 
But there are people that have followed the same path of wickedness. The same path of ungodliness. Amen. Lastly, some who have been washed by the blood of Jesus and saved by grace are returning into their vomits and passing. Those who are washed by the blood are born again and now going back to their vomits. Some things I used to do, I do them no more. That is used to be our song, Abby. But the song now it has become some things I don't do now, I am doing it again. Why? You are not mature now. You know, we are not big. I said, We talk around all over there with all these things. I shall not have a kill out of the sheep. Because you have been taught that God is merciful. You have been taught the blood of Jesus comes from sin. So when we commit it, we burn the pain. Allah and God, they don't know that your life has no move from sin spots. God forgives sins, but you will never trust that life. You will never be a blessing in the hands of God. No wonder people that are getting born again after you, they come to the church, they get born again, they move forward. God begins to decorate them with His grace. Because they are serious, but you can be there and be counting years, standing on the same spot. There is nobody. God allows people to move ahead. If you are not ready to go, some people will, you know, they will go ahead. Because you are ready to sub you are not ready to submit yourself to get committed. Amen. Let me just remember remind us a few things. Remember, before the Proverbs chapter uh, 30, verse 12. Proverbs 20, 12, very quickly. He said, There is a generation that is pure in his own eyes, yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. There are generations that claim that they are all right. But Bible says they are not watched from their buildings. Which generation are you? In Proverbs 29 verse 1. He who is often rebuked and hardened his neck will suddenly be destroyed. And that without remedy. That what happened to Bertrand. Anything I'm bowing to you one give you Pamunji. We will not perish. God wants us to repent and change. That is it. And Proverbs chapter 14, verse 9 says, Fools mock our sin, but among the upright there is favor. I have known that scripture a long time. You will bow with them, as she will be in fear, she is a sin. It is a fool. Who like that? As she will be, not because of any fool. Who am I fear, she is a sin. There is nothing. God is not doing 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 God is not too bad. He said it is a fool that they mock at sin. When the Bible says the wages of sin is what? It's death. But you are saying otherwise. Your pastor, your preacher. I know some people come to church like this. You have other pastors online. You have other pastors. Who can preach that your pastor in the house? Who are good looking, fine looking. Amen. So because of that, I said, uh, Pastor, what in that old school? Well, God is old school. I am the Lord, I change it not. God is old school. Man. But even if you call us old school, we are trying every day to become modern school. At least, if you are not even a new school, not a modern school, praise God. You can just put old and new to be relevant. And that's why we keep on searching the scriptures to be relevant. Praise the Lord. I've come this morning now to go and preach, go and teach the students on the campus. Alright, for you, for young people to invite you, they don't they have me. And they don't know that this grandpa that is coming to preach. It's because you are still relevant to speak to them. Praise God. That's why they are not say, officer, come and speak to us. I will say, speak to them, come to their level, things that they need to know in order to move to the next level. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Remember. Let me just call your attention to remember some things for you to understand that things you know or the story you have had and the consequence that follow, God has not changed his mind yet. Number one, the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 17, verse 30 to 34, Jesus said, Remember Lord's wife. 
and what happened to Lot's wife? He was saved, but lost. He was saved out of Sodom. But God said, don't look behind. She thought God was joking. Running with his husband with two daughters. I think the two daughters? Yes. They were running, they escaped. Out of judgment, out of fire of Sodom. But as they were running, God said, do not look behind you. Some people think God is joking with his word. God does not joke with his word. Because God is quiet, does not mean God is not angry. But because God has reserved one day in which he's going to go to judge the world in righteousness. God is not emotional. What he said if we do, if we do, he will wait for that time. No wonder the Bible said on the last day, when the fear of men will come, God said, I will mock, I will mock at them. All of them have been already. Said because where you don't want to run to. When the world is pursuing, you run to God, he delivers you. But when God is the one pursuing, you don't want to run to God. And that's why we must remember. Remember the lost one. Jesus said, remember the lost one. You see that story also in Genesis chapter 19, verse 26. In look back, you must remember. Somebody can be saved and yet the lost. Number two, remember something. Remember something? Though anointed from the womb or hated his life and ministry because of sinful passion for immorality. Because of his passion. If you look at the story, you know, see the story of, Sam, uh, of, of Samson, Judges chapter 16, verses 1 to 19, and uh, verse 20 to 21. Judges chapter 16, verse 1 to 19, but let's just read verse 20 to 21. He says, and she said, after his hair had been scraped on the altar of her daughter. You remember the story? You remember the story? You remember the story? This room, you remember the story? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You remember the story? Yes, sir. You remember the story? Yes, sir. You remember the story? Yes, sir. And now thou knowest all this. So, you know. Shout 
Why is so many pastors now looking for how to grow church? I mean, I'm too slow. I can handle running church for five years, and the whole place is not your part. Let's do let's, let's do that. I don't know. They will go to you. They will go to another family. They will go to you. And they will go to you. They say, yes, yeah, it's the man of God. And if you need to use strength and might, he will tell you what you had in your house yesterday. He will tell you lady, the pants of one of your body, and all of your pants is red. What does what does what does that stuff with all this kind of knowledge? Is that prophecy? I want to say yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. Yes. Something like uh, <laughs> like far. Yes, man of God. On what? On not? Prophecy that does not attack sin in the light of the man. It's probably that will tell you someone who is coming from the bed of adultery and is coming to sing to the choir and you get there and say, stand up. You are coming from so so and so and so and so place and the person will be shivering cannot deny. That is the anointing we are talking about. We will introduce strange fire. We introduce strange fire with series of methodologies. People to come and crack a joke in the church. People to come and do some things in the church. People to come and do some things in the church. Just to pull the crowd. Strange fire. Did you read it in the Bible? It was it ever like that? The church that was planted by the early church. Even with all the look at the seven churches that Jesus wrote there that Jesus was still able to extract every one of them. He was talking to a church. He said, you are doing well. But there is something you do not know. There is a place in your church where the seat of Satan is. He said, I know where Satan is sitting inside your church. And then after all, he said, You, <laughs> hey, as much as I can say you are trying, but you have allowed the doctrine of Balaam. You have also allowed the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, false teachings in your midst. And then after all, you church, you have allowed Jezebel to have his way in the church. So, spirit of immorality was going in that church. Jezebel, maybe the city is the choir man, choir mistress. Jezebel, maybe she said, she said, a, a, you know, a powerful pastor in the church. Jezebel was there, and the anointing of immorality she was just transformed into. And the pastor in the church was blind. But Jesus, the reward of truth, has been. There is Jesus. You are now Jesus. As I did not know, the pastor asked my excuse. Remember this that we are called. Thou knowest all this. And when it brought straight fire, what happened? The fire of the king. He started to consume the sacrifice. He began what? The sacrifice consumed. And when he all wanted to weep, Wanted to cry for the loss of his two sons in the day. Moses said, if, if you will, you are in trouble. This is what God has said. That he will sanctify himself. If you don't glorify him, he will glorify himself. Don't allow that tear to drop. And Aaron has to do pain before the Almighty. You know all these things. What straight fire are you bringing to, to, to God's house? What straight fire are you bringing into your own marital home? There are not men that pray when their wife is not around, they bring a straight woman to the marital bed. They are bringing straight fire. Or things you do in the secret and say nobody knows it, you are bringing straight fire. Anything you are doing contrary to the word of God, to the will of God, it is straight fire. And when God is doing a counter, that's how we do a lot of prayer ceremony to demon and so many other things. This one and that, this one and that, this one is not, this one and that, this one and that. We know there are things that are natural, there are dead that, that, that come out as a result of ignorance. You know something now? You know, when you're not careful to check your blood sugar, to check your, your BP and things like that. But there are things also that come as a result of God's judgment. God knows that if I don't remove this person out of the the church of God will be in the house. I don't remove. Shout out. And they 
and then became a blessing to the to the church of God. Acts chapter one, Acts chapter five, verse one to them. Acts five, one to them. The Bible says they are kept became a lesson. They told lie. Did you so, ah, this one you are bringing me to church? You know, like if I ask some people today, you pay your time, put in the envelope, you pay your time, and I just come and say, Are you sure that is your time for the month? You know, today you don't want to bury people. Praise God. You keep quiet. Let me say you are paying time, you are just sometimes in like, touch of time. Or all those who do not even pay. You have your reasons, you do not pay. You say, eh, I borrow it, I will pay it. Ananias and Sapphira because he did not put God first. They laughed. I said, Is that how much you sold your property? He said, Yes. And this is all the money. I paid and the Peter said, When this property was there, is it not yours? When you sold it, is the money not yours? You can do whatever you like with your money. But that you disguise to attain lies. You say you are not like this man, it's against God. And he fell down. The wife. Partner in crime also came. Say, ah, oh, man of God, that's it. They're not telling that. She fell. And Bible said, he gave his scapegoat a lesson to the old church. Nobody tried it again. Thou the moles of this. But how, why are we still walking in that path? The last one, remember Judas Iscariot, who lost the apostleship because of covetousness and love for unholy gain. Acts chapter 1 verse 25. He has to be replaced. If you hear the address of our brother Peter, Peter said, Peter said, you remember to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by translation fell, that he might go to his own place. He went to hell. He fell from apostleship. Did you not fall? From where God has placed you. In the name of Jesus. But that knows all this. That is the emphasis of this morning. You know. There are so many other things you know that God is not happy with. Yes, you still do it. There are so many things you do in this street. No, God is not happy with it. You know. You know all these things. But what have you done with the knowledge that you have about it? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Remember those. There are other positive things you have to remember. The Bible says in Romans chapter 14, remember those whose faith we should follow. There are good things to remember that we should pattern our life. The Bible says those who through faith, you know, receive the promise. You can read that in Romans chapter 14, verse 13 to 25. Oh, so, sorry, Romans yes, chapter 14, verse 13. Forward. But the last one is Hebrew chapter 6, verse 12. That you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Imitate things to come. Things to avoid. Those who through faith they inherited the promises. Thou knowest all of this. But what are we doing otherwise? Because nobody sees you. Because you go into your village. And when you get to your village, you think that I am in my village, I can do whatever I like. Praise God. I'm far away, I can do whatever I like. God has not changed his mind. The Bible says, the sinner shall be turned into hell, and all nations are forgiven. Some of these people, you see, they receive God's judgment. Anointing could not save them because anointing was, was, was lost. They thought it was still there. They didn't know God has forsaken them. So the Lord is calling us as we're about to step into the April. And of course, April, that is the Easter. Hallelujah. Let us begin to reflect from now what Jesus Christ has suffered for the cross of Adam. Which is not until, until Easter, we should remember from time to time what Jesus Christ has done for us. Bible talks about many, said those who know all these things, they root otherwise. They are naming the Son of God to the extreme the second time, putting him to an open shame. 
May you not be a party to that. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is time for us to wait from our sleeps. When do you want to begin to serve God? When do you want to be committed? If your commitment now is waning, is reducing in the things of God, it shows you are sick spiritually. It shows you are sick. If it will do the will of God and becomes a problem, it shows you are sick. In this church, is it as we don't begin to whine people, you must give money, you must do this, you must do that, this and that. And you don't pay your that. There are costs without the cops. You don't pay your We don't need to say cops. Praise God. Do it if you feel you want to do it. But you know if you do the right thing, you know the blessings of God is going to be there. But when you begin to do otherwise, you know. We can't play ignorant. That's what we are saying this morning. What are the things you know in the Bible stories that you have been reading from primary one that God has not changed? You have read about stories, you have heard about stories, you have still seen things for yourself, you see. Don't you see what is happening in our, in our, in our world, in Nigeria as a case study? All these politicians, I tell you, you look at them, they will swallow our money, they will steal our money, steal our money. When you need no repercussion, when they need to have repercussion, you need to put it in. Many of them, I'm not talking of those that maybe naturally, but many of them there is a pattern of evil. Either they are the, the glorious son in their family, you know, have it? Died. You know this people, that's what I'm saying. They will lose their firstborn. Whether they lose the firstborn or the firstborn, you know, die as a result of the judgment of God upon that family. And when the family, the person is supposed to take the glory of the family. I don't want to mention this, but go and look at it. The glorious songs, the, the, the homologo, I mean, the kind of the song that's supposed to take the party from some of our old politicians. Go and read their stories. The first one always died. Do you hear anything about the other songs? The other songs do they shine? They will go into all courts. They will go to uh, do Oboni. They will go and do fraternity. They will go and do this. They thought that just because of power and so many things and their sons and their children are fizzling out from the calculation of things. Is that what Those of you that are not to understand that I'm saying. Because God cannot be mocked. For so that a man's soul, he shall rest. Shall rest. Tell all these things. What are the things you know? What you fail to do? Tell God this money. If you feel you want to repent, you can tell God, God, here am I. I am sorry, God. I am repenting so that judgment will not fall upon. And if you want to join me to come to the altar and pray, this will be join. God, I know. I know. I know. I know. You have talked to me. God, I know. Lord, I am here to repent because I know I have departed from what I am supposed to do. Just pray at the altar, God, I know. Lord, you have spoken to me. The, the commitments, things I need to do that I fail to do, God, I know. God, I know. God, I know. I want to pray. You know what you think? You are doing it, nobody knows. Secretly, but God knows where you are failing. In giving to God, are you not? Are you not? Are you not failed? Are you not failed God? Even paying time, paying offering, are you, are you consistent in the face of God? You know all these things. Compassion, helping others. You have seen it. Some of you saw your parents doing it, but you have forgotten about it. Say, Thou knowest all this. And Belshazzar died that night because God. God judge him. God judge him. Let's pray this morning and say, God had mercy upon me. Whatever you need to repent from, tell them, oh God, I have had you, Lord. Have mercy upon me. I'm going to correct my way, Lord Jesus. Let Jesus, let the blood cleanse me. Lord, I receive grace this morning. You can pray that prayer. You can pray that prayer. And when you leave this place, meditate on what you have heard. Remember, all those things that are mentioned and make sure you do the right thing. Thou knowest all this. That means a pressure. You know all this. 
but because you are proud, you fail to humble yourself before God. And that's why you will be judged. And that night you will judge. And the kingdom was part, it was divided, you know, between the, 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 the pastures and the and the and the, and the, and the minutes. If you don't tell them, don't and say, God Almighty, don't let my error judge my life. Forgive me today. I am ready to change. I'm ready to do the right thing. I'm ready to do the right thing. I'm ready to do the right thing. Lord, have mercy. Forgive me today. I'm ready to do the right thing. Father, we thank you. The word has gone forth, Lord. It is for us to correct our ways. That our life will not hang the way something life ended. That our life will not hang by the way Lord's wife ended. That our life will not hang the way Ananias and Sapphira ended. Our lives will not hang the way Nadim and Abihu the way their lives ended. Madam Abihu, I pray God Almighty that today, oh Lord, things that we need that need to be corrected in our lives. Father, I pray God Almighty we surrender. Forgive everyone. Those that are at the altar, those that are not at the altar, who have seen themselves this morning, let the blood of Jesus cleanse them. Let the blood of Jesus purge everyone in the name of Jesus. The grace to do what is right. The grace to God, things that we know to put into practice, will receive for everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray at the time of prosperity, we will not forsake you. Love of money. Will not take us away from your presence. Yeah. We will live by the truth. Yeah. We are in the very last age. I pray God we will not be cut off from the world. We will not be cut off from the world. We will not be cut off from the world. Help us, oh God. To stand for you, to live for you. And let our life praise you continue. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. Let the peace of God begin to walk upon our hearts as from today. That there will be quietness. Where there is fear, there will be boldness. But the righteous stands bold as mine. Thank you, Lord, because of everything. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Film multimedia production.